In this video, I will show you how you can change the pager's pager number, restaurant ID, or enable or disable the vibrate function. The pager demonstrated in this video is made by a company called Long Range Systems. They operate on a frequency of 467.750 MHz. You can find more information about these pagers at the FCC website, FCCID.io. It's important to note that this reprogramming packet will only function when the pager is removed from the charging stand. You only have a 10 second window to transmit the reprogramming packet. After 10 seconds, the pager will ignore this packet. This is the information about the packet. The packet has a preamble of a bunch of ones and zeros. This wakes up the pager, followed by a header, BA52, followed by a restaurant ID number. This ID number changes per restaurant. System ID, just set this to zero. In this example, I'm using pager number 19. Set these to all Fs. This byte here is to turn the vibrate function on or off. Set these to all zeros. And the last byte is the CRC. The CRC is the sum of all the hex values divided by 255. This is the full data packet in hex. This is the full data packet in binary. The pagers use Manchester encoding. Manchester encoding is a data scheme where a one is converted to a zero one and a zero is converted to a one zero. As you can see here, this packet has been converted to Manchester. I added additional preambles to the beginning of the packet, and I also added the zeros at the end of the packet to serve as a delay between the transmission of different pagers. I wrote a Python program that generates a Manchester encoding for me. I enter the restaurant ID, followed by the pager number 241, and I'll turn the vibrate function on. Okay, the data file has been written. I'm using a program called GNU Radio to send the data packets to HackRF. Here I have my input file source that I just configured. I'm frequency modulating and I'm passing the data to HackRF. When I press the start button, it will send the data packet. When the pager is removed from its charging stand, the pager will go through a three second self test. After this test, the reprogramming packet must be sent within 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the reprogramming packet will no longer function.